Ready, set. Hi friends, it is Sam and welcome to my seasonal favourites. So winter, not that we really had one, is coming to an end. Which means that it's time to reflect on the season and what we loved about it. I personally had a very good winter. I started going on antidepressants and enjoying life a whole lot more. So winter has been very positive for me, whereas usually it's not like the best time of year. Um, it's dark and it's grey and it affects everyone. And everyone has the winter blues, but I've been enjoying winter. So what have I loved this winter? You can see the first of my winter favourites behind me. You've met him before. His name is Hamish and he is a warmie. I haven't actually used him as a warmie yet because I'm overheating at the moment. I thought it was over. I thought like my hot flushes had died down but they're back with a vengeance and I'm really hot all the time at the moment, so Hamish has just served as the fine four-legged friend and he likes to say hello in videos and take over my Twitter and have a little peek at my Instagram. He's just a solid guy and I have been loving him this winter. I've got two body shop favourites this season. Uh, the first is this plum hand cream that doesn't want to focus. Uh, I got this for Christmas and I use it before bed because I like to moisturise my hands before bed and I kind of sleep with one hand near my face and I just get the plum aroma in my face as I'm going to sleep and no you don't have a sense of smell when you're asleep but as I'm falling asleep. All right Dawn? It's very nice to smell plum as you're falling asleep. And my other body shop favourite was another Christmas present from my lovely sister. It is the A uh, Fall for Pumpkin body butter. It is the best thing I have ever smelled. Oh my god, I've almost finished it. It's moisturising and it smells incredible. And the packaging is so cute, so goth, so me. And I'm gonna miss it so much when it's gone. But she also bought me um, the hand cream this size in the pumpkin. So once this is gone, I will still have the hand cream to tide me over until this coming Halloween when hopefully I can get more. While I'm mentioning the body shop, they actually recycle cosmetic packaging and not just their own so if you've got some cosmetic packaging that your area won't recycle take it to the body shop because they'll recycle it. It seems to be a recurring theme on my seasonal favourites to have edibles as a favourite. So this time around we have these delightful boys. Um, Galaxy brought out vegan chocolate which the world has gone mad for. It's only in the UK. The UK has gone mad for and it comes in at a whopping three pound per bar and they're quite thin but they're quite worth it. Um, if you enjoy the, the milky smooth texture of Galaxy I recommend the orange one. This one is very Nutella-y with some hazelnut pieces in and I've only had it once. I've had the other two twice, but I remember enjoying it very much. And this one is my favourite. It's got crunchy caramel and sea salt pieces in it. It's divine. Um, I like to um, suck the chocolate and then chew the crunchy bits once the chocolate's all gone. Oh my god, it's delightful. I pray they're gonna come out with a plain flavour because oh my god and caramel galaxy ah oh, ah galaxy get on it sort it out feed me 
Hamish is gone. He's had enough. Another recurring theme in my seasonal favourites is lack of physical items. And this has been quite a lot of physical items, to be honest. But we still have one more to go before I go on to the digital items. So, can you guess? I'm going to give you two seconds to guess what my final physical favourite is this winter. One, two. It's my scrapbook. <laughs> this thing has kept me entertained, happy, amused for a month. Like, yeah, it took just over a month to fill this and it's bulging, but I love it so much. All the textures, all the, all the materials, it's just so fun. So on to digital favorites. For what I believe is the first time in the history of Sam's favorites, I have two apps on my faves list this season. The first one is Dailyo. This app is a mood tracker and you can use it to see how your moods correlate with your activities, what you're doing that most enriches your day-to-day -day life. You can set goals, mine is to drink water every day. Let me do that right now. Goal complete. I try to drink a litre of water per day and daily really motivates me to do that. I get a reminder at 12 p.m. every day. Drink some water, Sam. Hydrate yourself. Also, it features a graph. I love a graph. And it shows you how your moods have fluctuated through the month. My January graph was very zigzaggy. My February graph is quite pleasing to the eye at the moment. So yeah, it can also be quite diet culture. So beware of that. Um, there are eat healthy and exercise activity options. But if that triggers you, you can remove them as part of your mood tracker. So that's good. I do want to remove the exercise option because I have the walk dog option and that's exercise that brings me joy and enrichment. And I don't need any other exercise and I don't need an app to tell me to do more exercise. But I consider the eat healthy option as eating enough and incorporating fruit and veg into my diet as well as the occasional cookie. So take those with a pinch of salt if they do trigger you or remove them. Well, the other app that I've been loving is Goodreads. I love a book. I do. Books are life. I currently have one, two, three, four piles of books on my floor. One stack's going to zip it, one stack's going to the charity shop, the other stack is books I've bought that don't fit on my to-read desk. I am so rounded by books. I did sort my books out yesterday, which is why I've got all these stacks. But what can you do? There are worse things to love. I love reading and Goodreads is something that motivates me to read. You can make friends on Goodreads, read reviews, set your reading list, like what you wanna read rate books you've already read, track the books you're currently reading, see what percentage of the way through you are, review your books once you've read them, and you've got reading goals. So my goal this year is to read 20 books because I don't want to overdo it like I have done previous years and then like I hated reading for a while. So my goal is 20 books and you can also see what goals your friends have. Great app, love it very much and it's made me a lot more excited to read. And that's a great thing. Two cinema films I enjoyed this winter were Birds of Prey, which I watched this month and I absolutely loved. Harley Quinn is a queen. She's beautiful. She's just precious. She's just full of dimension. And oh, what, what a girl, what a character love her. Uh, it was very Deadpool, which I approved of. I loved Ewan McGregor as Black Mask and I don't, I never thought I'd ship Victor Zaz and Black Mask, but that film did it. <laughs> that film made me do it. The other winter film I enjoyed was a very apt one. It was Frozen 2. 
I loved Frozen 2. I'm going to go out there and say that I enjoyed Frozen 2 more than I enjoyed the first Frozen. I have a Frozen 2 wall calendar for the whole year and I love it. Current month is Olaf. Comment below which song you prefer, Show Yourself or Into the Unknown, because I can't decide. I'm leaning more towards Show Yourself, but I've listened to the soundtrack precisely three billion times. I love it so much. And my final favourite of winter is a Netflix show. You've probably all seen it because it broke records and like pretty much the whole world seen it. It's The Witcher, Henry Cavill is a handsome, handsome man. I feel neither romantic or sexual attraction, but my God, that man is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, can he just walk around looking like Geralt all the time? I also enjoyed it because, wow, wow, stunning, amazing acting, amazing effects, just amazing, magical, it's so good. It's so good. I love the bard. Um, I would like him to come out as gay in season two, please. So what have you been loving this winter? Let me know. Let me know how you've been. I hope you've had a good winter despite the sadness and the greyness and the viruses and the global panic. Um, if not, have an amazing spring the sun will come out tomorrow maybe if it's not too cloudy take that as a metaphor if the sun doesn't come out tomorrow i love you i hope you have a good day and a good week and a good month and a good season and i will see you in a couple of days for my youtube anniversary video like and subscribe if you did enjoy i love you very much and i'll see you next time bye